Hello everybody. Hello everybody, my name is Phil. Welcome to Moran Detailing where we make satisfying detailing videos. In today's video, I know, again with the detailer's helper belt, but check this out guys, look what they sent me. You probably saw the one year review of the detailer's helper belt that I put out uh, probably about a week or two ago. And uh, I mean, it's been a year and I have used this thing thoroughly. Um, it's got some broken pockets. It's sun faded, as you can see. So yeah, I love this thing. If you wanna check out the video, the first video, click up there. And uh, if you wanna watch the second video that I had, click up there again. So I'll have both of those videos up there, uh, back to back. So. Detailer's Helper Belt actually reached out to me and I want to give you guys a shout out because you guys are awesome. Your customer service is superb and you were so happy with the review because I love using this thing so much that you sent me some more stuff. So let's check out what they put in the package. All right guys, so they sent me the package and Let's see what they have here. So now this looks like it belonged to the original belt, like the one that I had, because it's all fully black. You'll see that the other ones have the red uh, trimming. I think this is the replace the broken pocket uh, that I have here. That's all, or wait, which one? Here we go, this one right here. That one's all busted up. So they sent me a new one to replace that. So that's awesome. Then they sent me, oh, another one. So they sent me some replacement pockets to put on my old belt, which I am gonna use this thing until it basically disintegrates. So no reason to throw it away or anything like that. It still works great and I use it every day and uh, it is going to be a crazy hot summer. So it's just gonna get more and more faded. Uh, oh, so it looks like this one, oh, this one's actually for brushes. So, so with this one, it actually has individual pockets for brushes. That is really nice. Okay, awesome. So I'll probably put that on my new belt because, of course, I'm using my brushes all the time. And I was kind of using, like, my little cell phone pocket as the brush holder. But, yeah, it's better that it's actually separated into these two little pockets like that. So that's nice. Awesome. Let's see what else we got. Now it looks like we have the brand new heavy duty version belt. Ooh, check this out. So now it comes with a little protector. Oh yeah, and this. So the other one just had the Velcro. This you can adjust and then just clip on, easy. And then this thingy goes right over it to protect it. And that way that plastic bit doesn't hit on the paint or anything like that because probably I'm gonna be using this one more for my jobs here at home because I want the belt to remain nice. So that goes right over that part with the logo. Really nice. All right, so let's see what pockets it comes with. Oh, the polisher pocket. Okay, well that's cool. That means that I can actually put a polisher right in here, like so. And it'll hang right on the belt. So, yeah, that's awesome. Very nice. And then you have your usual, like, probably 32 ounce. Oh, there's another one. There's so many pockets. So this is like your, yeah, kind of like the replacement here of the old one. So I usually use this for 32 ounce bottles or 16 ounce bottles. It'll fit both. So that's nice. And then we have, oh yeah, okay. So this one, now 
I don't use this as much, but it does clip onto the belt like this, and you can it kind of controls the cord. Um, it, it holds it in there, which is good. I, I have used it before, um, but I also use my cord clips, which I really, really like. And these actually just clip on like so, right onto it. So I don't know. I mean, I, I do prefer my cord snaps like this um, just because of the opening is smaller. But maybe I wonder if maybe a portion of it could be sewed like that or maybe a clip or a, a little snap can snap together that way it controls your cord in there just a suggestion i don't know just because i like to have the cord in a smaller area like that instead of just kind of through the loop because sometimes it doesn't quite go through correctly and kind of bunches up i don't know that that's just me so just a suggestion if there could be like an added snap button there to kind of close that loop just for the cord to go through. And then you can still attach this to the belt. So just an idea. So let's see, we got, oh yeah, another little small cell phone pocket that you could use for multiple items. Maybe a 16 ounce bottle could fit in there as well. Ah, a mini pocket. So I think this one is for coating bottles. So let's see. I have a little 50 mil bottle here. Ooh, that's nice. Perfect. Nice and snug. It'll fit right on the belt and keep your little coating bottles right in there. Nice. Oh, that's awesome. All right, then we have a couple of larger pockets. So these are probably for microfibers or pads or more bottles. You can fit more bottles in here. You have this one as well. This is just the bigger one. This is probably for microfibers and pads. I usually use these for microfibers or bottles. So I like them being the larger size like that. Um, and I'll usually have them kind of on the back side here, my back. Uh, that way I'm reaching to the back to get towels. So that's nice, awesome large pockets here. Oh, and this is another large one. So this is like for the Roops polisher. Yep, enough playing around. So you can fit the Roops polisher in here. So I'll demonstrate that in a moment. So let's put everything on the belt and uh, Let's fill up the belt here and see how it looks. All right, guys, so here's the belt. I put as many of the pockets that I would typically use on here. And, uh, you know, I still have two extra pockets here because I can't fit them all in the belt, which, of course, you know, you wouldn't do that anyway. You only put the ones that you need. So let's put this on and talk about what I have on the pockets here. All right, perfect fit. So I adjusted these, and now what we have going on here is, I think I put them in the order that I would typically use them. So let's get the pockets adjusted the way that I would need them. All right, so you put this little piece here to protect the plastic Actually, it's not to protect the plastic, it's to protect the vehicle so this doesn't scratch it. So I have my little coating bottle holder. So that will fit a large 50 mil bottle. So like the Gion Mose one, that will fit in there perfectly. And I'd probably typically have it on my left side here as I use like the applicator in my right hand. I would pull it out and then I would, of course, drip it on there, put the cap back on slip it back into the pocket. Now here's the other 32 ounce bottle. So I can put the 32 ounce bottle in here, or I can put a 16 ounce bottle in there as well. Both fit very nice inside that pocket. Now I also have the pocket over here, which can fit a 16 ounce bottle like so, or it can fit your cell phone, which I'd probably be putting my cell phone in this pocket here, but either one will work. So then you have your large pocket 
here. This long, skinny pocket, this is made for your polisher. So here you have your polisher, and you can kind of tuck in the cord like so, and the polisher will go right there. Now that does add some substantial weight, so it will kind of, you know, sag a little bit, but that's okay. You're not going to be storing it there for a long period of time. It's maybe if you're climbing a ladder, um, or you don't have any place to put it down, you don't want to put down your polisher, you can do that. So that slides right in that long skinny pocket. So if you also are using, say, like your porter cable and you're waxing, same thing. This can slide right in that little pocket and just store it for, you know, a second or a minute or two, and then you can pull it right back out. Now this other little small pocket, I believe can fit the porter cable as well. So it'll, it'll fit it in there, depending on the size of your, your polisher, but it may, you know, that's okay. That, that would fit. If you have it on the belt, it would fit just like that. It's a little snug, but you can kind of, you know, interchange. You can use the big one here as well, and that's not a problem. But this will fit a polisher also. And then you have your other larger, then you have your other larger pockets back here that you can say, you know, you can fit microfiber towels like so. So if you're working around the vehicle, you can put them back there, pull them out as you need, which is great. Or if you do want to put pads back there, you can also fit pads in these pockets. So you can fit one or two, you know, five and a half to six inch polishing or wax pads back there if you need them. If you're working around the vehicle, you can load up your belt and have everything at your disposal, which is really nice. Now, I think I noticed, yeah, this pocket right here, that's the one that holds brushes. So I'll probably put this one on the belt that I use for my mobile jobs. I'm gonna keep this belt because it's so nice. I wanna keep it really nice. I'm gonna use it here in my garage uh, for jobs that I do at home. That way the sun doesn't fade it out and I don't kill it on my mobile jobs. I will continue to use my old belt with a couple of upgrades. I'm gonna replace the pockets with the ones that they sent me. And I'm going to put this pocket because it holds brushes so nicely. I'm gonna put that one on my mobile job belt. So that way I'll probably maybe replace this belt, uh, this little pocket here, or maybe just add it on. That way I have my brushes back here, which I like to have them behind me, it keeps them away from you know, this area. If I'm working around the vehicle, I don't want anything to brush past a door if I go around the vehicle or go around the door part. I don't want to have too much bulky things on my sides uh, here as I walk around the vehicle and it might hit something or bump something. I want the heavier stuff back here, which means, which means typically I will have the 32 ounce bottle here, kind of on my hip, but a little further back like so. Or sometimes I will put it all the way back there like that. Okay guys, so that's it for the belt that I'm going to be using here at my garage with all the nice added new pockets and everything. My little ceramic coating pocket, I'm gonna love that. Let's see the old belt uh, loaded up typically the way that I would use it if I was doing an interior detail of a vehicle. All right, so the old belt is back on now I usually will, you know, put my shirt over this so I don't ruin anything. Um, but when I'm using it for interiors, you know, you see me using it for exterior jobs. Uh, mostly I put the wax bottle here and then I might have, say, the microfiber towels back here, maybe, a, you know, a hand applicating pad to get all the little uh, areas when I'm waxing. But usually just typically these two pockets that I use uh, when I'm doing exterior. But interior, I fully utilize the belts. Now, of course, <laughs> you see all this stuff here. I don't sit in the vehicle with all of this on. 
This is just when I'm carrying it from section to section because I don't want to tote around a little bag. I've done that before and I just don't like it. I like to have everything on the belt. That's me personally. So you probably noticed that I installed the new uh, brush pocket. So this will hold brushes nicely, probably about four of them, two in each pocket. But this is what I usually typically use. I'll go over uh, more of my interior detailing products as well. I do have an old video that I did, but I'll update it and show you some of, uh, maybe some of the new stuff or how I use each of these products. And then back here, I will carry all of the vacuum accessories. So my favorite grout brush that I use for all the little tight areas in the vehicle, my favorite long vacuum nozzle, and my other favorite carpet brush. So these three tools for carpets and getting into tight areas, to me, it's a must have. So, you know, I'll put them on the seat as I'm working or put them on the, the uh, floorboard as I'm working. And of course, you know, that's gonna free up back here. Oh, you know what? Oh, look at that. My other favorite nozzle that I use for carpets and upholstery and seats. Forgot about that, that was back there. Yeah, these pockets are so deep, I forgot it was even back there. So, these four tools are my favorite interior carpet and upholstery vacuuming tools. Um, but anyway, yeah, there's nothing back here to worry about. And usually the microfiber towels I take out because I'm using them and this I will also take out when I'm sitting in the vehicle. So nothing is going to inhibit me inside the vehicle. It's not going to be bulky or anything. Um, again, I, I said I take these out. So when I'm working around the vehicle or if I don't want to put stuff on the floor or on the carpet inside the vehicle, that's what I do. I put my bottle in there. It's my carpet cleaning and kind of all-purpose cleaner bottle. And then when I don't need these around, if they're just kind of laying around on the seats or on the carpets and they don't need to be there because I'm working on them, then into the back pocket they go, easily stored away. That way I don't forget anything and they go like that. And then I can work around the vehicle as I need. So that's the new, I mean, that's the old belt. And of course I added on, here's the new pocket that I pretty much ripped up. There's the old one, so I can probably chuck that one. Here's the new one that they sent me and the new brush pocket. So some new additions to the old belt that I will continue to use for my interior details or really my mobile jobs. This is my mobile job belt. So let's go back to the new one. So new one is back on, all my new pockets. Very happy about my new detailer's helper belt. This is the heavy duty edition, the HD edition, with the you know added components here and some new pockets. So guys, that is my new review on the new HD detailer's helper belt. So thank you guys for sending this out to me and uh, helping replace some of the old pockets on my mobile detailing belt. Uh, that's definitely gonna help a lot and I'm really excited to start using this one here in my garage. So thank you guys so much uh, for sending that stuff out. You guys are awesome. Your customer service, everything. I can't say enough about your company. Thank you for providing detailers with some awesome quality equipment. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Share it with others who may enjoy it. And if you are interested in the belt and the different pockets, click on the links down below. I will have links to those that goes directly to their website so you can purchase those products easily. And if you're interested in any of the other products and tools that we use, then click up there. That goes to our online store so you can purchase those products easily. And don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell. That way you get notifications each time our videos drop each week. We'll see you in the next one. Take care.